Well, all right, fish lots. So you took my advice and you went drum fishing. You caught yourself a monster prehistoric fish, 60 to 70 pounds, and then you realize, how do you fillet this thing? It's got scales the size of guitar picks. The size of these Nothing scales. can get through these things. You took something that you would use to chop down a tree and you still couldn't get through it. So what do you do? What are the tips to actually get the meat off this thing so you could eat it? Well, we don't jerk you around here at Fishing with Johnny Fish a lot. Let's go straight to the professionals and ask Captain Tom Daffin and how he fillets drum fish because he's the best I've seen and he cuts more drum fish a year than anybody else there is. Let's see what he has to say. All right, Tom, so what's the secret here of filleting uh, these giant on that prehistoric fish? Uh, pick up the phone, you call me, and I charge you 15 hours of fish to cut these things. It's been a couple years since I used it. <laughs> That's going on the YouTube. That should. I did. I did. That is going on YouTube. I use a little knife, I guess. Uh, let start on the back side here. There's a little soft spot there. On top of modern filament. Oh, okay. Nice, Keep nice. Right down the line. I bought that reel for my guy. And it was filled with monofilament. And I, I like to pick... So you don't try to it. cut it through the scales. You'll never get through them. So Go in with the scales. Uh, yesterday, I was going through all my reels, and the ones I wanted to use wouldn't work. So, so then... I, got, I put this so one on the rod. You actually skin the fish so before you fillet yeah, the fish. Right. I forgot about it. And I, was I was worried it wasn't yeah, all together. Yeah, it did, man. Ridiculous. But I, I use skin them back just like you're skinning a deer. On all my rods. Yeah. It's almost like you've done this before. I watched a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. You watch fishing with Johnny Fishel. <laughs> <laughs> And all right, fish a lots, if you're getting value out of this video, go ahead and make sure to smash that like button so this can spread to more fish a lots out there to help them fillet these giant prehistoric armored nice. tanks. All right, let's see how Tom finishes up this fish. Yeah, this is all the stomach here. Rib cage. Yeah. Surgeon at work. Oh, I've seen it. It's amazing. Yes, it's, you should have gone to medical school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good at saying I'm a poor. I can't put them back together, though. <laughs> uh, all right, the medical examiner. <laughs> all right, there you go. Only autopsies. <laughs> there you go. That is one awesome fillet job by Captain Tom Daffin, right there, <laughs> in the flesh. <laughs> With the flesh. With, With the flesh. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> I remember you used to have that giant serrated thing, right? Yeah, that was definitely the wrong move using that. Though. Yeah, you. I, guess, I assume you wore those down. Oh, uh, I used a little knife now because when you're pulling on these things, having to cut through, you don't put as much pressure on your wrist. That's why I use it anyhow. Look at the size of these scales. There's a scale for this baby. And that's why you can't cut straight through it. And all right, fish a lots, I hope this video helps you next time you fillet one of these black drum fish and getting through black drum armor. But filleting a drum doesn't do you any good unless you know how to catch a drum. So make sure you click on this end card right here where I show you some helpful tips and tricks on how you can enjoy these giant fish. And of course, I'll have a description in the video below of everything that you could use in order to catch these prehistoric monsters. All right, fish a lots, I'll see you out there on the water.